In this video, we learned to read and write numbers up to 1000. In a previous video at entry 2, I've looked at reading and writing numbers up to 100. If you need to recap that, go back and look at that video because we'll start from 100 here. So the next number up from 100 is 101. So there we have the units, there is just one. Tens, we have no tens in this case, and hundreds, there is just one. So 101. Then we have 212, 745, 468, 610, 809, 999. And the next number up after 999 would be 1. Thousand. So we've just read the numbers and we looked at the hundreds, tens and units which help us read the numbers. Now writing them, so we've got 841, how do I write that? So 841, how do we write 206? So 200 and six because we know we've got units then tens and the hundreds so when i say 200 and then six that means i need to put a zero in between because that's the place for the tens and i haven't got a 10 in this case so 216 would be written like this 206 would be written in a very similar way but just with a zero in the middle to hold the place of the tens because if I didn't have that gap or if I didn't put the zero in there, I would end up with 26 and that's not 206. So I would cross that out. Let's say 410, so 410, 563, 934. You'd also need to know how to write these numbers up to a thousand in words. So 841 is just one example. So keywords are hundred. They probably didn't know before. So hundred, 100, 200. So in front of it, you can write eight, one, two, three, four, five numbers that we've seen and looked at before. And of course you need to know your tens because we've looked at those as well at entry two. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and so on, how to write those, including 80, which is a bit more tricky, and 40. So we don't write it as 4, 40. That's how you write 4, but 40 is not written like that. It's written without a U. So 40 and 90 because some people confuse this as well. They leave out the E. So that's how we write 90 as well. Try by practicing writing different numbers, the digits and the words, or reading them out from different places because we find numbers everywhere.